Good morning, Facebook Live. This is Robin Kirby Gatto. On this chilly morning, enjoying this refreshing. Oh, goodness. I got this <clears throat> jacket maybe two or three years ago. And this is the first time I'm really actually wearing it. And it is so warm. I feel absolutely amazing on this cold day walking. And oh, my goodness, you're going to love today. Today's broadcast is just going to encourage you. It is going to strengthen you and give you a firm confidence of just your decisions in life, your decisions. One of the things that can happen, let me take this off. Whew. One of the things that can happen as it relates to when we make decisions to do things, we can get in a place of doubt or questioning which is normal because especially when you make decisions that you normally don't make like i've been discussing about getting out of unhealthy relationships unhealthy workplaces unhealthy environments and it cannot be emphasized enough because you really need to protect your soul it cannot be emphasized enough and so when you make a decision to do so hey man when you make a decision to do so, you know, there's a part of you that might question, that might doubt, but it cannot be emphasized enough. And especially if you care about people, you know, it's just normal to have those questions in your mind. And notice that those questions are in your mind. They're not in your belly, okay? And that's so significant because your self-image is in the belly area. It's in the body. That's where your self-image is. And the gut, the stomach, is the second largest place of neurons. And so it's the second brain. God put it there for a reason for you to go with your gut feeling. It cannot be emphasized enough how you need to listen to your gut and you need to press in and stick with your decisions. Now, if your mind, and again, remember that the mind is not as brilliant. It is brilliant, but as brilliant as the body, okay? And the mind dispenses whatever is going on in the body. So if you're feeling insecure, the mind is gonna to try to land on the same page if you're not mastering your emotions. And it's gonna look for files that justify your emotions. And if you're not taking your thoughts captive, then it's, going to, it's just gonna take you on a roller coaster, okay? Usually, if your body is on this crazy emotional roller coaster ride, your brain is going to go with it. It's just on the rod with it, okay? And so, that's why it's so important to really condition your body. Now, I talk about the ancient test technique, the bittersweet taste technique that God gave me from Isaiah 15, 715. Isaiah 715, and it's in chapter 6 of Mindfulness, Mind of Christ, and I unpack it in chapter nine in greater detail and explain why that bittersweet taste technique conditions the body. And it hits the G protein couple receptor in your body and it helps your body discern what is good around you in the environment and what is bad around you in the environment. A lot of people because of not being conditioned good morning they have issue in their body and they totally go with their brain and most people go with their brain anyway on reasoning on reasoning and making decisions you have to get to where you're used to your body making the decisions your gut and going with that gut feeling <laughs> you have got to get used to that and you just tell your brain this is how it's gonna be. And your brain starts understanding how it's gonna be. And so some of you who are making decisions right now, 
as it relates to your destiny, as it relates to your future, as it relates to work, relationships, other environments, you have to stick to your gut feeling. In areas of your self-image where you feel bad, you're gonna have questions just flinging at you through the day, and it's gonna try to get you to focus on those questions. Don't, don't, uh-uh. Go with your gut feeling, okay? There's a reason why God put that second largest repository of neurons in our stomach, okay? And so stick to your decision, stick to the plan. Woo, let me just open this just a little bit. And be blessed, not stressed. Stop thinking about it, okay? God bless you, I love you.